please use your personal protective equipment as directed by your tutor or as indicated on your worksheet. Testing for lipids. This uses ethanol. Take a 5ml sample of your lipid and place in a test tube. Then add approximately half to equal volumes of ethanol into the lipid. Place the thumb over the end of the test tube and shake vigorously for approximately one minute. After this time you will see that two distinct layers have formed, one of ethanol and one of lipid. Put some water into a test tube. If there's too much water in your test tube, take out the excess. Approximately 5 mil or even less of water will suffice. Then decant the top layer containing the ethanol into the water in the other test tube. Then shake the contents. After this process a white cloudy emulsion is formed. Testing for starch. This uses dilute iodine. Take around about 5 ml of your starch solution and place in a test tube. Then add several drops of the iodine solution. You will notice an immediate colour change when the iodine is introduced to the starch. It becomes blue-black as opposed to the light brown it is in the bottle. Here is an example of the colour difference. Testing for albumin or protein uses two different reagents. Biorets 1 and Biorets 2. Biorets 2 is dilute sodium hydroxide. It is an alkali. Take about 5 ml of your protein or albumin sample and place into a test tube. Then add several drops of the Biorets 2 reagent. On adding Biorette 1, which is dilute copper sulfate, in the presence of protein or albumin, the colour of the sample will change from a light blue of copper sulfate to a lilac colour for a positive test result. Testing for glucose, a reducing sugar. This uses Benedict's reagent. Place about 5 ml of your glucose solution into a test tube. Then add several drops of the Benedict's reagent. This produces a light blue colour. Place the sample of the glucose with the benedictory agents into a water bath at 90 degrees centigrade for five minutes as you can see indicated. Remove the sample from the water bath using a paper towel or test tube holders as it will be hot. The benedict's reagent changes from a blue colour to produce a brick red or orange precipitate.
Testing for sucrose and non-reducing sugar. Sucrose is a disaccharide sugar. Using Benedict's reagent, take a 5ml sample of your sucrose solution and place into a test tube. Then add Benedict's reagent. You will see that this gives a light blue colour. Then place this sample into a water bath at 90 degrees centigrade. For approximately 5 minutes. After 5 minutes has elapsed. Remove the sample from the water bath using a paper towel or test tube holders as it will be hot. You will notice that the Benedict's reagent in the presence of sucrose will not give a colour change. If sucrose is tested once again and its glycosidic bonds are broken using hydrochloric acid again similar sample technique and this again is placed in a water bath at 90 degrees centigrade for 5 minutes approximately remove this sample from the water bath again being careful to use test tube holders or a paper towel as it will be hot. Then add some sodium hydrogen carbonate solution to neutralize the sample as it will be acidic from the adding of the hydrochloric acid. You can test that your sample is neutralized by using universal indicator paper. Please invert the tube to ensure the contents are mixed together. You can see on the sample pot containing the universal indicator papers there is a colour chart. To find out whether your sample has been neutralised please use a glass rod dipped into the sample and then placed onto the universal indicator papers near the colour chart then you can easily see that the sample has been neutralised and can be used for the next stage in the test. Add Benedict's reagent to the neutralised sample. Then place into a water bath at 90 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes has elapsed, remove the sample from the water bath using a test tube holder or a paper towel. Get the right tube ball. The Benedict's reagent changes from a blue colour to produce a brick, red or orange precipitate. 